Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I am here with a uh, design team project for Craft Supplies for You for the month of March. And this is my first DT project for the month. And I made a doily wall hanging. And this is it. Let me, till I get that other piece back, I'm, it's going to be a little awkward, so I hope you'll bear with me. But this is the doily wall hanging. Um, I started with, I always try to put one of these on the back um, if I have them. And then I use um, a large 8 inch doily on top of that. And then um, I usually use uh, a more, um, what would you call it, uh, just a more intricate doily. Uh, on the top and then I added the image and this is the image and I just love this image she's so pretty and I put a little batting behind her and then um, after I did that I started on the bottom like I usually do with the dangles and let's see this is now some of some of these trims, I'm not sure if if there are any left or if they're sold out, but um, I used a piece of this leaf trim that I love, and then I used I think two two um, pieces of the next dangle trim and this one here and I think there's still some of this in the store this one here and then I know there's still this one in the store so I used a piece of that and this is a really old older um, trim <clears throat> excuse me that uh, I was looking through the drawer trying to find something different to use and so I put a piece of that on there and then this dangle trim is from my stash and I put that on top um, mainly for the color that brings out some of the color in the um, doily mini and then on top of that I used this trim here which I think um, there's still some in the store you can cut them individually or I, I just cut three in a row and then I added two on either side a pink uh, it's called a 3d flower in the store I call them loopy flowers um, there's a pink one on each side and then this is an older piece um, you'd have to check the bling section to see if there's any of these left and then here's a little um, tool and pearl bow and uh, it's it's in a very light uh, I don't know if it's a very light lavender or it's a grayish color and um, I know these are still in the store and then here's on top here's another it's a cream loopy flower and then I just used a little piece of pearl strand for the um, for the hanger and then this trim here this cream and um, pink trim that I went around part of actually I think I went around the whole thing before I started adding the flowers and this is in the store and it's a it's an older trim and then the last thing I did was these flowers that I put on the side here and all along the side here I made those flowers using um, pieces of different uh, trims in the store and um, I added little pearls in the middle of all of them. But I am going to do a tutorial on how I made all these different flowers. Show you, I'll show you the trims and I will show you how I, um, I made the flowers. So that's it. Uh, that's, that's it, I guess. Um, it's really late and I am going to head to bed in a few minutes. So rather than ramble on, I will say good night and um, I'll be back again soon, hopefully with that, um, you know, the how to make these uh, fabric flowers uh, within, you know, 
probably within the next week. So thanks for watching everyone and if you'd like leave a comment. Uh, the links to the stores will be in the description box and I will see you all again soon. So bye for now.